The success of the Turkish company Baker, which produces the Bayraktar TB2 UAV, has inspired other defense industries in the kebab country to build unmanned ground vehicles, UGVs. As is known, the name of the Bayraktar TB2 drone and also other Turkish drones soared because of its proven effectiveness on the battlefield. Turkey has also succeeded in exporting UAVs to more than 20 countries. Now, another Turkish defense industry FNSS will bet on building a UGV to make a success on the ground. The company has also signed a partnership with the Defense Industry Presidency, SSB, for the mass production of heavyweight UGVs. General manager of FNSS Nail Kurt told Anadolu Agency, AA, his company has various plans concentrated on UGV development, but the main focus is on the projects being carried out with SSB. It said a total of five vehicles were defined within the scope of the contract. After the proposal is completed it will be submitted to the president. Unmanned ground vehicle, UGV, is a vehicle that operates while in contact with the ground and without an onboard human presence. UGVs can be used for many applications where it may be inconvenient, dangerous, or impossible to have a human operator present. Generally, the vehicle will have a set of sensors to observe the environment, and will either autonomously make decisions about its behavior or pass the information to a human operator at a different location who will control the vehicle through teleoperation. Kurt also noted that the UGV they developed previously did not have autonomous features, because given the time, it was impossible to complete autonomous features at that time. A certain level of autonomous features and weapons integration is required at the request of the SSB and Army Command, he explained. Now studies involving different configurations have been carried out. The newly signed contract will be the conceptual proof of this study. Kurt added that the necessary changes will be implemented once the vehicle is put into use in the field because user interaction and feedback are very important in this process. Scheduled, the first UGV prototype will be delivered next year or sooner for testing first.